This is Shishi. This is the sixth reading of this week's Parsha, Parsha's Emor. It's found in Leviticus chapter 23, verses 33 through 34. Uh, Shishi is 12 uh, verses, 12 psukim. Leviticus 23, verse 33, And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, On the fifteenth day of this seventh month, it is the festival of Sukkot, a seven-day period to the Lord. On the first day, it is a holy occasion. You shall not perform any work of labor. For a seven-day period, you shall bring a fire offering to the Lord. On the eighth day, it shall be a holy occasion for you, and you shall bring a fire offering to the Lord. It is a day of detention. Hmm. They translate Atzeres, he, as detention. Well, Atzeres means like holding or uh, stopping. I guess, you know, I guess you could translate it as detention. Atzeres, he, kol melechas avodah losasu. Okay. You shall not perform any work of labor. These are God's appointed holy days that you shall designate them as holy occasions on which to offer up a fire offering to the Lord, burnt offering and meal offering, sacrifice and libations, the requirement of each day on his day. Dvar yom biyomo. Dvar yom biyomo. That would be a good one to know. Dvar yom biyomo is 326. Regular Hebrew Gematria. 92 in ordinal. Hmm. 700 in Ahbi. 993 in Alba. 1043 in Atbash. Okay, um, let's continue here. Um, apart from the Lord's Sabbaths, and apart from your gifts, and apart from all your vows, and apart from all your donations that you give to the Lord, but on the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when you gather in the in the produce of the land, Tivuat Haaretz, you shall celebrate the festival of the Lord for a seven-day period. The first day shall be a rest day, and the eighth day shall be a rest day. And you shall take for yourselves on the first day the fruit of the Hadar tree, date palm fronds, a branch of a braided tree, and willows of the brook. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God for a seven-day period. And you shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord for seven days in the year. It is an eternal statute throughout your generations that you celebrate it in the seventh month. For a seven-day period you shall live in booths, Every resident among the Israelites shall live in booths. In order that generation should know, In order that ensuing generation should know that I had the children of Israel live in booths when I took them out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. And Moses told the children of Israel these laws of the Lord's appointed holy days. Israel. 